Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. He said, return unto me, you backslidden in heart, and I'll heal your backslidings. Amen. Jeremiah 3, verse 22. Somebody say, if you'll come back, he'll take you back. You in the altar, please uh, reiterate, stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't, don't, don't even be bothered by nothing as we continue to go forward. The rest of you, I want you to take your Bibles real briefly and I want you to look in Luke's writings. Luke's writings. Somebody's thinking, my God, it's after lunchtime and he's just now starting to get up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor say, they still make microwaves. They, it, it, it can, they still know how to keep it warm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Eternity. Amen. It's so important. Hallelujah. In Luke's writings, chapter 1. Now, if you stay standing while I read, uh, just use your better judgment because I'm liable to take off with the preach and forget to you sit down. And I may never finish reading what I plan to read. So it's up to you, literally. It's up to you and it's down to you too. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Luke's writings, chapter 1, verse 34. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Verse 35, The angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who is called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaiden of the Lord, and be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste or in a rush, a hurry into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation or the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as I heard the voice of the salutation or the greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy and blessed is she that believe for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord glory to God you can be seated you just saw a miracle I read all the way through where I want to read without preaching hallelujah in verse 41 and verse 44 it says the word salutation when Elizabeth heard Mary now pregnant received the word come on somebody I believe that was the conception right then. When she believed what the angel told her, supernaturally in her virgin womb, come on somebody, there was the life of Christ, the Son of God. Come on church. Hallelujah. And though she was going to carry it nine months, uh, amen, praise the Lord God, I believe that's when she conceived, is when she received and believed the word of God. And, and we know it so because Elizabeth now becomes a prophetess when her cousin Mary, that she's seen often many times before, probably family reunions, uh, at the Passover feast, everybody got together come on somebody amen they knew amen each other but when Mary walked in Elizabeth impressed on by the Holy Ghost because she had the Holy Ghost come upon her hallelujah she felt the Holy Ghost move amen even in her womb and she said blessed amen am I to have the mother of my Lord come to me and and she said as soon as I heard your salutation as soon as I heard your greeting your voice saying hello come Cousin Elizabeth, hello, greeting her. She said, the babe in my womb leaped for joy. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost. Amen, come on, little John. He been in there about six months. Amen, and he began to turn Holy Ghost somersaults. I'm talking about he began to skip and I don't know what he did. Uh, mamas, you know how it feels. That baby started moving around there and kicking. I remember my wife was pregnant a long time ago. Praise God, you see a elbow stick out there and foot kick here. Hallelujah. You thought, my God, they're going to be like, they're going to do karate when they get old. Hey, Amen. They be kicking and moving. And says, it's a miracle even to watch even that take place. But can you imagine Elizabeth standing there? And I know she, a lot of scholars tell us that at this point, six months had went by and, and Elizabeth hadn't even felt her baby move 
And when Mary walked in, supernaturally conceived of the Holy Ghost in her virgin womb, the Messiah, and she just greets her cousin Elizabeth, somebody shout, amen, John just starts turning over. It said he leaped. Whoa, leap, the ball went to jumping. Somebody shout having church in the womb. Somebody shout the baby went to having Holy Ghost church right there inside of his mama's womb going crazy. Hallelujah in the spirit. What an awesome, awesome story of God's glory. His miraculous power. Two times the word salutation. Somebody say greeting, that's what it means. So I'll just bring you something you're familiar with this time of the year, season greetings. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There's somebody in here, hey amen, this morning just for a brief moment, and I see morning by faith because I know it's after lunch, but I started when it was morning, so we'll stay with morning. Hey amen, just to help set the setting. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's some stuff that's laid dormant in you for a long time. There, there's some faith that's laid dormant in you. There's a call on somebody. Hey amen, it's been in you, and it's been dormant for a long time, and you haven't seen nothing move, and matter of fact, the only thing you've seen move is people move away, and people move out, and people leave you staying and leave you hanging and, and sometimes you just feel like Lord of God you're moving down instead of up but I've come to help somebody's baby leap this morning come on I've come to give a Holy Ghost salutation to somebody who's gave up to somebody who feels like you can't go another step I'm telling you God has orchestrated this season greeting just for you and I've come to greet you with a God greeting today by the Spirit of God and tell you if God put it in you hallelujah he'll bring it out of you he didn't make no mistake when he called you. His gifts and callings are without repentance. Somebody shout, he ain't made no mistake when he chose me. Good God about it. Hallelujah. And we find this glory story of the miraculous nativity of Christ. Somebody shout, if you can believe this, you can believe God for anything. Amen. And I believe it because I'm born again. Because if you don't believe Jesus was born of a virgin conceived by the Holy Ghost, you can't be saved. Hello? Because according to 1 John chapter 4, a spirit of Antichrist has went out into the world and it denies he has come in the flesh. That's what it meant. It denies his miraculous conception of the Holy Ghost uh, born of a virgin. Amen. Doctrine, it, that's what that spirit of Antichrist, it denies that. Hallelujah. So you can't be really born again unless you believe this. But my friend, if you can believe this and it save you, my God, this God that did this can do anything. Hebrews 10 and 5, the Bible says he has prepared me a body. In other words, the Lord himself said, I made my own body. I put myself, I came from heaven. I put myself into her womb. Come on, somebody. I put myself there. Look at your neighbor say, don't try to figure that out. That's too big for your brain. That's too big for your belief system. You can't, you, you can't figure that out. But this is the God we serve. Come on, somebody. So he might be born into flesh, that he might clothe himself with flesh, live without sin, perfectly live on this earth. So when he sheds his blood on the cross, it would be sinless blood, the sin that would redeem us. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout, this is Jesus. Born of a virgin, see by the Holy Ghost. And I give you a season greetingness today. I, I give you a Holy Ghost salutation to stir up in you a faith that's laid down. Look at your neighbor and say, you're gonna have to give me room in a minute because my faith's getting ready to leap. Somebody shout, I feel a leap of faith. I, I, come on, somebody. You come in here down and out, but you're going to leave up and in. Somebody going to think, surely, you're going to get back home today and some folks that know you didn't, don't go to church, they're going to think you went to the local tavern instead of church. You ought to tell them you did. You went to the most high. Come on, somebody. How do you got drunk with, 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 with faith again? Come on, somebody. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? I feel a leap of faith. Somebody, Pastor Josh, 
Their faith has laid so dormant, it's laid so idle because they have seen the dilemma. They have seen the strain on their belief so long that somehow they've almost accepted that God probably may not going to do what he said he was going to do after all. That maybe somehow God's changed his mind that somehow it's too late for God to move. I, I want you to know when uh, that 16-year-old girl, Mary, hey man, had a visitation from the angel. I don't know about you. When I get to heaven, I, hey, some folks like Gideon, they say, there's folks like Elijah. They, 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 there's folks like uh, uh, Mary and Joseph. And all this. Man, they was having angelic visitations. Uh, I, I don't know about you. The angel wouldn't have said much. He, uh, he didn't have to say nothing. He just showed up and showed himself. I believe I'd have believed. They want to question them and everything else. Come on, somebody. I'm the, what? Even Zacharias wanted to argue with the angel Gabriel. Come on, and God had to give him a divine zip of the lip because the boy wouldn't believe. Come on, somebody. God had to shut his mouth. Amen. So he wouldn't hinder what he was about to do. Because he said, me and Elizabeth's too old. Somebody shot. God loves to wait till you're so wore out before he does a miracle. He, he, he likes to wait till you can't do nothing else with it. He, he, your strength's gone. Come on, somebody. You're too old. You, are you too wore out? You're too tired. Come on, somebody. You did all you know to do and it don't work no more. Come on. Somebody shot. That's when God likes to walk up and say it's about to happen. And somebody look at your neighbor if the, tell them, say, if the Holy Ghost tells you it's about to happen, when he comes and brings you a season greeting, when he comes and says, I'm the God that changes seasons and times, Daniel 2 and 21, when God says it's not too late, it ain't too late. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the banker has told you. If God said it's not, it's not. This is a holy salutation, a season greeting I bring you today. My God, you may say I've been sick so long. I've had this infirmity so long and doctors just treat it because ain't nothing they can do about it and they just say learn to live with it. I've come to bring you a season greeting. By his stripes you were healed. First Peter 2, 24, before ye were sick, ye were healed. Come on, if you got healed this morning, you shouldn't say and testify I got healed today. Amen, on December the 4th, 2016, you should say I got healed 2,000 years ago at a cross. I got healed on the hill. At the cross, I was healed. Matthew eight seventeen said himself took our infirmities and he bore our sicknesses. Somebody say, if he took it, why should I keep it? I'll bring you a season greeting today. I'm no angel. My wife's here in the flesh to testify that that is a true statement. I am no angel. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I am his messenger. And I bring you a season greeting. I want you to hear how ridiculous this is. That angel shows up to, to, to Zechariah. And Zechariah, now you got to understand, I got it wrote down. We're done right that now. Hey Amen. This is my notes. I usually, well, that, that's a song. Can't remember songs. Remember scriptures. Can't remember songs. But I wrote down, um, where is it at? Zechariah's his name. Where did I put it? Zacharias, anyhow, his name means God remembers. Elizabeth's name in, he, in Greek means God keeps his oath. In other words, when God showed up, to Zacharias, according to Malachi, amen, from Malachi, the prophet, until this time, God hadn't spoke to nobody in 400 years. 400 years of silence. Zacharias has got so much faith. Listen to this. He's in the temple every day, but he don't ever hear God. He's praying to a God that never talks back. And it says he's still in his office. We got people that quit over little bitty things. <laughs> you imagine all his life never hearing God, but yet serving him. What a faith. Waving that incense, come on, which is a symbol of praise and the, and the perfume of praise in the temple. Come on, somebody. God not talking. But he's praying. He's calling out to a God he never seems to get an answer from, but he still comes. What a faith.
And he praises and he prays and no answer, no answer. But all of a sudden on this day, he's in the temple and in Luke 1, 13, the Gabriel the angel shows up and says, your prayers have been heard. Your wife in her old age is about to conceive, hallelujah, your son and you're to call him John. And all he could do in response in verse 18 and says, whereby shall I know this? In other words, it would translate modernly, are you kidding me? Did you stop at the wrong temple? You got the wrong priest. Look at me. Some of my hair is gray and the rest of it's turned loose. Come on, son. Some's turned gray and some's turned loose. He said, my God, hey amen. I'm old. I'm wore out. I can't make no baby. I, my wife, she's been barren even since she was a young girl. And now she's old, so that makes matters worse. She's too old to even conceive if she could. Pretty much that was what that meant. Where am I shall I know this? Hey, Zach, angel, duh, really? This ain't anybody talking to you. Your wife's about to have a baby, don't you name him John? And because he doubted, God had to shut his mouth. Everybody one day is talking about and Elizabeth, she's done been with Mary and the baby's done leaped and it's getting time to have John, little John's to come out and hallelujah, everybody's talking about who he should be named and hey man, all of a sudden, uh, finally, finally Zacharias, God opens his mouth and he said, no, his name's gonna be John. He ain't gonna be Zacharias Jr. Ain't gonna be nothing, ain't gonna be Zach. Ain't, no, it's gonna be John because that's what the angel told me to call him. And he will preach as the forerunner through the spirit of Elijah. Amen, glory to God, the Messiah, the son of the living God. God opens his mouth. And now that same angel standing in a room with a little teenage girl named Mary who's a virgin, come on somebody, and said, I've chosen you, hallelujah. And here she has her questions too. Come on somebody, I still can't figure out all these questions. Man, that's an angel talking to you. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah, you know you meet some saints they go from glory to goofy just about. <laughs> I mean, they, out, they see angels about three times a day. Come on, somebody. I mean, every week they having encounters with angels. It beats all I ever say. There's people in the Bible that, that, that just once in their whole lifetime. Come on, even Jesus, about, you know, just a few times while he was even here on earth. They, I mean, angels there. Amen. I believe if you, if you really saw an angel of God, your life be messed up for the good. I mean, you, 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 you wouldn't just get over it just, just as easy as any old thing. Hallelujah. And then here they are having this angel, angel Gabriel. He's standing before her and he says, you gonna have a baby. And of course, now her question was legitimate. Verse 34, how shall this be? Notice she didn't say, <laughs> that can't be. She said, how shall it be? Hers, unlike Zacharias, was a question of faith. She believed it would be. She just wanted to know how in the world it was going to be. She didn't doubt it could be. Now, ladies, you got to admit, Mary had to be a little out there. Because what would you have done? Ma'am, <laughs> if an angel showed up to you and said, you about to have a baby, and she says, I ain't even got a husband. Hey, Mr. Angel, last time I checked, that's the way God ordained it. A woman can't have a baby without first having a husband. Come on, somebody. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? Praise God. That's common sense, too. I walked in a store in the mall the other day to look. That's about all I could do. <laughs> hey, look, hallelujah. And I looked up on the wall and it had two men holding a baby. My wife, I showed it to her and she looked at it. She said, I ain't buying, he ain't, he ain't gonna try to buy nothing in here. Let's get out. Come on, somebody. You can call that a family if you want to, but a family is a man and a woman and children. Come on, somebody. That's the only family value that God has ever orchestrated. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? And hey, you watching it, don't believe that. 
If God changes his mind, men will start having babies. But somebody shout, thank God, he will never change his mind. And all the men said, amen. Amen. Praise God. Oh, well. So her question is legitimate. How shall this be? But it's a question of faith. And the angel answered her in verse 35 of Luke 1. Somebody shout, he's giving us a season greeting. I'm trying to get something stirred up, make something leap, your, your faith leap again. Hallelujah for, for what God said he was going to do. Listen, listen, the angels answered her and said, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And the power of the high shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing that will be conceived in your womb shall be called the Son of the Most High God. In other words, her how was answered with Holy Ghost. She wanted to know how, 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 how. And the angel said, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Uh, somebody, you've been uh, walking the floor in the night. Uh, how's it going to happen? Uh, how's it going to be? Uh, how can this take place? Uh, how can this be done? Uh, how, how, how? Uh, I've stopped by all being in Georgia this morning, uh, even after lunch, uh, to tell somebody, have these all been in church of God? And Whoever's got an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Glory to God. How? I'll give you the answer. How to how? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. This is how. Somebody shout the Holy Ghost is how. That's how souls get saved. That's how lives get changed. That's how God will bless the church. Through the Holy Ghost. It's not by my, nor by power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts, Zechariah chapter four, verse six. Verse seven said, who art thou, O mountain before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain. Somebody shout by the Holy Ghost, every mountain can become a plain. I gotta prophesy what I see. Sometimes prophets called a seer. And while I was preaching that just then about how, I was walking around here, I was going in that circle. Of course, I was a whole lot redder and face a whole lot. Cause I was huffing. As I was coming in a circle like that, about like this right here, and started coming back to the altar. And I said, Holy Ghost is how. Holy Ghost is how. I saw like it was like a river, that there was a flow. And then all of a sudden, right before it reaches where it goes out and spreads it was like there was a wall and as I stepped up saying Holy Ghost Holy Ghost in the spirit I saw that wall that damn bust come on somebody and what had been held back was released and then it was that season of reaching and spreading come on somebody Pastor Josh to me I believe that's the word of the Lord to you and the East Albany Church of God God says the dam the wall it looks like stuff's been being set back things have been being held back uh, some's went away uh, and it may have hindered it uh, but God said uh, hallelujah now by my spirit uh, I will remove this wall uh, the breakthrough has come uh, and 2017 uh, is the year of reaching uh, the expanding uh, the thing you dreamed about uh, the devil's tried to say it can't happen uh, how some of you wonder but I've come to give you a season greet by the Holy Ghost and tell you, Holy Ghost said it'll be by me. It's done. It's done. Somebody shout the dam's broke. Somebody shout the water's broke. It's in the birth canal. It's coming fall. I don't even know what I was saying. I still don't know what I'm saying. Four, four daylight this morning. I said, Lord, if there's anything prophetic you won't say it in that church, to that church, show me. And I heard him say, if I want to say it, I'll tell you while you're preaching. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. Look at somebody and tell them, say, if you ain't shouted at least 15 times, catch up. Mm, I'm about through. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
This story I'm reading you, someone say that is the spirit of Christmas. Say it a little bit different, because it ain't about Chris. Let's, let's don't keep the T, the cross silent. Let's just say it like it is, Christ. Now, Mass is abbreviated for M-A-S-S, which the Catholic Church did many, many years ago to connect to it to try to keep the season about Jesus. It means celebration or it means to worship. Someone even told me in Spanish, Mass means uh, more. Praise God. The only Spanish I knew up until that time was taco, burrito, and nacho. <laughs> but, but, but more worship. Somebody say Christ worship. Christ celebration. And I hear people during this season talking about the spirit of Christmas, spirit of Christmas, spirit of Christmas. But the spirit of Christmas or Christmas, however you want to say it, is none other than the Holy Ghost. It's a season of the miraculous where we celebrate and we remember the most powerful is miracle to even try to wrap your mind around his holy nativity, his birth. Look at somebody and say, embrace the spirit of Christmas. This miracle work in Holy Ghost. I don't care what you are looking at, staring at, thinking it's too hard. How can this happen? How can this change? I'm telling you, the Spirit of Christmas Himself, the Holy Ghost. I, I come, I come and give you this salutation this morning of the Spirit. I come to give you this season greeting to tell you this is the season of the miraculous. This is the season where the Holy Ghost becomes the answer to every how you got. I don't know. I used to say, I don't know how but I do now it's by the Holy Ghost do you hear the messenger today do you hear the message from this season greeting somebody shot trust the spirit of Christmas the Holy Ghost that's how he's going to do what he said he's going to do don't you quit on him now don't you stop believing him now there's so much more I get into but I'm just trying to stay sensitive to the Holy Ghost right here God, I thank you. You are the answer for every how. And Lord, you told Mary as a testimony about to what you were going to do in her. You testified through that angel about Elizabeth. In verse 37 of Luke 1, and you said, for with God nothing shall be impossible. That's the key, Holy Ghost, with God. Somebody say, for with God. Nothing's impossible. With. With God, that statement means when I hear him say something, I agree. By faith, I believe and I agree with God. Somebody shout, when the messenger gives you a word of faith, it sounds crazy. Tell him, say, that's when you should get crazy. Because if it sounds ridiculous, it's often miraculous. Come on, somebody. God says stuff that don't make no sense to the carnal mind. You can't figure this thing out. How in the world is she going to have a baby and she ain't even got a husband? Come on, church. Uh, but when Holy Ghost, and by the way, that's the only woman that will ever be pregnant that way. Amen. One lady one time years ago when my wife was pregnant with one of our kids a long time ago. Hallelujah. Amen. One lady back at the church was they was touching you know how ladies do they touch each other's belly especially when they and they said, Oh, they're touching the belly. Oh, they feel it. And they was doing all what they do. And one lady touched, she come up, she said, Oh, y'all better get y'all's hands off her pregnant belly like that, because it'll happen to you. <laughs> I was like, Lord, how old is that lady? That ain't how that happened. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So that's the only lady that's going to ever be pregnant that way. By the Holy Ghost. But what a miracle. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Merry Christmas. And tell them, say, Mary did have Christmas. Tell them she had a Savior named Jesus. Not a saint called Nick. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, have yourself a merry, miraculous, be 
big, not little, wonderful, wonder filled Christmas season because this is the season for believing. Believe him. Believe him to heal your body. Believe him to save your sons and daughters. Believe him to wreck the devil that's come to wreck you. Believe him to pour out his spirit and do what he told you he was going to do. Agree with him. Look at your neighbor and say, get with God, get with God, get with God. With God. I believe you, Lord. Because in Luke 1, 38, Mary's response was, Behold the handmaiden of the Lord. Be it unto me, O Lord, according to your word. Can you lift your hands? And can you return this season greeting? He sends you a message today, a divine season greeting. And he's telling you every half you got, the answer is his Holy Ghost. His Holy Ghost can do it. His Holy Ghost is just that spirit of Christ that can do any miracle, sign, or wonder you need him to perform in your life. And it ain't too late. And he has sent you this season greeting. But don't you think it's about time for us to lift our hands as Mary did and reply and send him him back a season greeting of praise and faith and say God if you said it I believe it to have it you ought to lift your faith with your hands and shout out be it unto me O Lord I cry, my God I feel the Holy Ghost be it unto me according to your word there's people in here with knee trouble get out of your seat and come stand before his altar says the Lord there's somebody else you having a lot of lower back issues. God says, come stand before my altar. Skin infirmities. God says you're having trouble with certain spots and things on your skin that you can't kind of, you've been trying to treat it, but nothing's working. Holy Ghost said, come stand before my altar. Hallelujah. Asthma's being healed. Come stand before his altar. In the Hallelujah. God, I give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Sugar diabetes, bring it to his altar. Bring it here right now says the spirit of Christ suited to my son bring it bring it to me and I'll make you whole come on somebody I hear the Holy Ghost hallelujah saying come and say it be unto me oh Lord there's people in here you have fretted so long you've been just so weary amen Lord of God from the warfare so long that you've almost begun to believe that it ain't gonna happen that it's just been so long in the waiting but God says I want you to know this is the season I'm about to change it. I'm preaching to somebody you've gave up on. Amen. That meaning you ain't gave up on God, but you've almost stopped believing God's going to do what he said he was going to do. But God says, listen here, Zacharias, I hadn't forgot what I told you. I remember what I said. Listen here, Elizabeth. I'm a God that keeps my oath. I'm a God that keeps my word. Hallelujah. Can I give me about, come here, big dilly boy, since you ain't behind the camera, son. 19, got a body of a 25-year-old. Come here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to use you. If I got another young man that will help me, all I want you to do is stamp. Come on. Thank you, sir. Come on behind somebody when I'm praying for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost don't need nobody to catch him, but we just, we, we, we ain't going to be dumb. We're going to do things in order. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord told me I didn't take me a long, he didn't, it don't take me a long time to do what it is. I want to do right here this morning. He told me to come by and touch you. If you come up here for your body to be healed for things that I did call out or didn't even call out because some of you standing here I called out maybe one thing but not everything the Holy Ghost said believe 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 and every one of you that's come up here and you thought my God it's too late it's too it's just been too long God must not going to do what he said he was going to do I've come to let you know it is going to happen just as he said it's a season greeting I bring you from the presence of the Lord as his messenger today and you're wondering how by the Holy Ghost that's how he's going to do it super Supernaturally, somebody look at John. I dare everybody look at somebody and say, "What I'm getting this morning, I can't get from the doctor. I can't get from somewhere else. It's gonna be him. Anybody with God this morning? I know I am. I believe. I believe. I believe. Jesus. I call things that are not as though they were. Romans four seven. Jesus. It is done for His 
glory. Jesus, I thank you. That is done. Here he goes. Ooh, I remember the miracle in April. God says I have more to do. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, I stood before, just I, I remembered it. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes you feel like a Zacharias. You feel like sometimes it's too late. But it ain't, says the Lord. It ain't. Lord, and I thank you for healing his knees. Thank you for touching his lower extremities, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. That's fire. I mean, Lord, I'm, God's been doing stuff in young people. I've been seeing young people everywhere. Holy Ghost, so open. So open to him. I'm telling you. God, I thank you. My friend, your hands have been tied. But the Holy Ghost says mine's not. Watch it. Watch what he's about to do for his glory. It ain't too late. Somebody say, Holy Ghost is how. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for signs and wonders and miracles. I thank you for signs, wonders, and miracles. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Everything that's been crooked, watch him make it straight. Watch him. Just watch him. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I thank you. It's not too late for this. Come, Holy One. Spirit of the living God, come, 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 Holy One. It's not too late. It's not too late to happen. There's someone in here, and I could already pray for you. I don't know, Lord. Well, your your hair is to do. It's to do with urinary problems. You, you, you having issues to do with? Just touch them. Wow. See some. See, I'm still learning too. Hallelujah. If I'd have listened long enough, I'd have known, right? Because the Lord has used me that way a bunch of times. <laughs> thank you, Holy Ghost. God, I thank you. She is healed of this. Yow! Jesus name thank you Lord somebody say be it unto us Lord Holy Ghost touch it by you spirit of life hallelujah hallelujah yes Lord Lord, tell, told me to tell him to, to believe, just keep believing a little while longer. And the season will change. It will turn around. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody say all things are possible. With them that believe, Mark 9, 23. Not some things, not a few things, not even many things or much things. All. Lord, thank you for what you're doing in my brother's life, Lord. Hallelujah, God set him ablaze today. Woo! Jesus' name. Be done. It's done, Lord. I claim by your name, Jesus. It is done. Wow. Feel your Holy Ghost. Now, you, now you, we, we know we've, we've heard the word M. Somebody say M. That's I am impossible. But during this season, this season greeting, I want you to put an H in front of M. And somebody say him. Somebody say him. H I M. Him possible. I know that sounds like a little young and saying him possible. 
is a childlike faith. Somebody say with him, it is possible. God, I pray every person in here whose faith is laid down, I pray it leap today with this season greet. That for every big howl they got, that Holy Ghost, you are the answer for it. You're the Spirit of Christmas. And Lord, I thank you that you're going to do what flesh can't do. If we'll only do as Mary and say, Lord, be it unto me, according to your word. God's people shouted a big, loud amen. Did I lay hands on everybody that came? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, do you be the glory for what you are not going to do, but you're doing. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Please, somebody let me know, but because... Mm, just in the next several days and a couple weeks, even prior to Christmas, some of the things that have been prayed about today will have come to pass. <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank you, Holy Ghost. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, man of God, for letting me come. I believe that's, I believe the Lord says that's it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you've enjoyed this word this morning from the Lord, can you give the Lord